What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here, and today we are going to be making some technological advancements in the old fleet situation. I have recently earned some merit also, which will help with that very, very task. But the biggest thing to do to earn this fleet size is of course, through the garage so just to take a look at things it will bring me quite a bit not a big step but when you're looking at a couple thousand uh, troops add it to your fleet it will of course bring more possibilities for doing some damage when attacking and also being there in the long run just a little bit more when defending and uh, elite wars attacking and so on so just to give you a rundown of everything that i have been doing here since we last talked yes like i said the merit level has increased and that also is going to bring me some more max fleet units along with a little bit uh, of attack bonus and hp bonus I'll be more than happy to take all three. So with that, we can now put together a little bit more stronger of a fleet. Uh, of course, numbers don't necessarily mean everything, but they sure as hell help. So starting the garage, I'll probably just blow through that here real soon. Uh, I have continued making the t9 uranium cannons i have also continued to make the t7 cannons and converting them to t9s uh, a couple other buildings that i will be looking at very soon as well which would be the hospital and also the academy they need a little bit of mr og's love to bring them up so we can get going on some more training uh, not some more training i'm sorry some more uh, research in far as the tech is concerned uh, the hospital for those extra units <coughs> excuse me so a lot of things to get into here in the near future uh, of course the hospital is going to be something that we want to keep up as well because when you raise your fleet limit of course you're raising uh, the uh, the possibilities of having more wounded God forbid you send all of your fleet and all of them uh, get wounded in an event or, or something to that effect uh, when reinforcing as well. You need to make sure that your capacity at the old hospital can can be suffice enough to, uh, you know, to take care of that. Uh, not to mention the speed in which it brings as well for you. Uh, so the garage is a big step in fleet size, definitely a must. Uh, I would go through and sort of edit uh, these fleet marches out, but uh, I've got gathering parties out, and that's just going to throw off my numbers, so I'm, I'm going to come back to that at a later time. Plus, I don't want to share all my secrets with everybody, because then, of course, you'll know exactly what I'm sending. But anyway... Looking at the uh, capacity too, we have still way more than our fleet size, so we're still covered with that. Um, one thing I am pushing for is SOS. I am about halfway through uh, leveling up to get to the next level to get enough points uh, for my commander skills to take me to where I can get SOS. So, with that being said, that's another reason we have to focus on the hospital probably next um, I think once I do the calculations anyway you know with doing the army size uh, boost and then doing the calculation I'm doing them in my head as while I'm talking it's gonna be close from my capacity now uh, to what I will have in a fleet size it's gonna be close um, I always like to run them neck and neck 
on any boost of my fleet size. That way I know that no matter what happens when I go to do an SOS that I'm going to be covering my ass. CYA. Always. Always CYA. So with that said though, there are a couple other things that we're getting into. I'm, I've just started, like you've seen the camp. I'm getting the camp. That's my next goal to get at least one up to 26. Because uh, I want to strengthen my front line to T9 to kind of help with the back row T9. And then we'll focus on some in the middle as well. Um, I'm playing sh my strategy to really the equipment that I have. Uh, so right now that does favor the back row way more than it favors anything else followed by the mid row and then of course the front row uh, but everybody knows with no front row especially not being strong enough or having the HP troops up there your back row will not get the opportunity to last longer to deal that damage so that is why I'm going up with the camp because we need to bring those guys into T9 status. I've got plenty that I can go ahead and start to convert once we get that going. And uh, I think that'll help out tremendously with the fleet as well. So I'll be getting into that a little more once I get a full march of T9s mixed with some T8s. I'll be sure to share what setup I'll use as well. Kind of give you a, you know, a kind of breakdown of what I'm using what I'm doing and how effective it is is going for me uh, but since we've gotten to 26 we also need to get the Academy up that's gonna boost these troops as well so there's a lot of things in the near future that I need to make some big-time improvements on to be able to really hang and, and do what I need to do uh, in fact earlier today I did fight an elite war and uh, that went very well but I'll share that maybe with you guys. But as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming. And I'll see you in the next one.